There was this moment where you said the low-end consumers not as not as prevalent. But right after you said, but the high end is spending more than it was basically. I mean, you use some great terms, but you're talking about that, it, that they are willing to, they're considerably, considerably above what other people are spending. What is going on? Is this a tale of two cities? It sounds like that there are people who are going and you're getting a really good check. Yeah, you know, I think we have unbeatable value in the market. So even if we took significant pricing last quarter, as well as kind of focused our value menu on fewer, you know, bigger items. The reality is the guests that still come into the restaurant, they're still spending, whether it's buying, you know, more items off of the a la carte menu or they're buying bigger bundles. It's very clear to us that there's still a lot of appetite, you know, to eat at restaurants. And so we want to make sure that we have offers that they're excited about. So, for example, if you want, you know, an amazing burger and fries and chips and salsa and a drink like you talked about for ten ninety nine, you can get that. But if you want to go to our value menu at fifteen ninety nine and get steak or shrimp, we're going to have that too. And it's very clear based on the mix of that value offering, you know, customers are wanting a little bit more. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.